Special Audit of the Joint Committee for Tertiary Education, JCTE, began in December 2019 after an audit of the Caribbean Maritime University, CMU, identified a possible conflict of interest between the committee and the permanent secretary in the ministry. Auditor General Pamela Monroe Ellis says since being established as a special advisory committee in 1991 or the time of receiving government funding, there has been no evidence that any minister has been involved in the appointment of committee members or that there has been any government oversight of its operations. She further notes that in January 2017, at the request of the JCTE's leadership, the Permanent Secretary wrote to the Commissioner General of Tax Administration of Jamaica requesting a taxpayer registration number for the committee. This, she says, enabled the transfer of government funds totaling over $217 million from both Heart Trust and the Education Ministry directly to JCTE. Additionally, the Auditor General notes that her office saw no evidence that the PS sought approval from the Ministry of Finance to provide the JCTE with a TRN. The MOE also transferred approximately $124 million to the JCTE over the period April 2017 to June 2020. But to date, the ministry has not been able to account for the utilization of the funds. The Auditor General says the JCTE chairman has remained steadfast in his refusal to provide her or the MOE with the requested information, stating that the committee had become a private entity, which he registered in February 2019 under the name JCTE Limited. He argues that the Auditor General has no legal authority to review its accounting records. Monroe Ellis says, in a meeting at her department in January 2020, Acting Permanent Secretary Dr. Grace McLean suggested she had no knowledge of the chairman forming a private entity and indicated that the ministry would stop doing business with the JCTE. She further notes, having purportedly learned of the privatized company, Dr. McLean still allowed transfers to the JCTE amounting to $11.2 million between April and June 2020. Aladdin Love for CVM Live. Bless up, bless up my viewers and my subscribers. Welcome back to JNN News Channel. And right now my viewers and my sub, we have a couple of updates that we want to give you quick and fast. So with no further ado, let us get into it. Guns and ammo fine as law enforces up their aim in St. Andrew South. In a major police military operation along Yaka Avenue in Tower Hill, St. Andrew along Wednesday law enforcers found and seized an illegal handgun and ammunition. Several persons were also detained and were, be, and were to be questioned by the police. In an interview, a senior police officer said the move was a part of an effort to disrupt criminal activities in St. Andrew, South Police Division. The senior lawman appealed for public assistance to help the security force curb lawness in the division. Some of you as I'm a sub, the police them are putting some work and some guns and, and some ammunition are fine. So right you know, we have an update to our figure you know, quick and fast my viewers and my sub. 16 year old bicycle dies from vehicle crash in Sentan. A 16 year old Zidane Thomas of Egan Tower. Higginstown sent and died of an injury he sustained in a motor vehicle collision along the Higginstown Road in the parish on Wednesday, October the 13th. Reports from the Cave Valley Police are that about 3.30 p.m. a Toyota Towens motor vehicle was traveling along the roadway and Thomas was traveling in the opposite direction on a bicycle that was reportedly trying to negotiate a right turn when the bicycle collided with the Toyota Tones. Thomas was thrown from the bicycle and received head injuries. He was thrown from the bicycle. He received head injuries. He was assisted to a hospital where he died while being treated. The driver of the Toyota motor car was warned for prosecution. Investigation continue into the incident. 
So the driver had not get arrested because I don't think it was the driver's fault. Maybe the bicycle man was like coming on the wrong side. So in this process, the driver of the vehicle wasn't charged, my viewers and my sub. So we'll surely bring further updates on that one. I will give you further information as it progresses, my viewers and my sub.